Good morning, St. Pius. Welcome back. It's Monday, October 7th, 2024. We're celebrating a bunch of birthdays today over the weekend. Uh, happy birthday in 6th grade to Allie P. In 7th grade, Lily T. Happy birthday in 5th grade to Maddie V. Claire B. And in pre-K to John C. Uh, let's see. Hot lunch today. we got cheeseburger calzone, after school, art club, cross country, and youth choir. Uh, hey, Socktober begins today. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, that's our service project this fall. Uh, another beautiful day, high of 67, although it's going to get a little chillier this week. Um, still a beautiful day today. Uh, Spike shout out uh, goes to uh, one of my middle school friends for being extra helpful uh, to a younger student who was looking for the lost and found. Nice job to Nolan in sixth grade uh, for helping uh, another student find lost and found. Uh, on that note, quick PSA, uh, lost and found. If you've lost something, um, two spots you can check. Okay, uh, there's the main lost and found across from the development office in the main hallway by the gym. Okay, uh, there's also a lost and found in the cafeteria. Uh, so a water bottle or a lunch box, maybe a coat. Um, those are in the shelves when you walk into the, in the cafeteria right to your left. Okay, so two spots for lost and found items. I mentioned Socktober, right? Starts today. Uh, actually, it started over the weekend. Uh, there are drop off locations right in the lobby. Uh, we're collecting new uh, uh, socks and underwear uh, to go to people who need them this winter. God's kingdom is not one of power and status, but one of charity. Ah, like giving to others. How about that? justice and service to one another jesus asks us to make ourselves lowly so that we can enter the kingdom praying the rosary is a good way to reflect on the life of jesus and the example of service he gave us to follow in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen a reading from the holy gospel according to mark and this is one of my favorites then the disciples came to Capernaum, and when Jesus was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another, Who was the greatest? Jesus sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. He then took a little child and put it among them. And taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How can we reflect on this Bible, uh, this Gospel verse today? If anyone would be first, he must be last of all. And I can certainly relate this to school because I see you guys all the time uh, arguing about being first in line uh, to come into recess, first in line to go into the cafeteria. Um, I see some of our students sprinting out the cafeteria to be first out there on the recess field. None of that matters, right? If we truly want to be first, we have to be last. If we truly want to be first, we have to put others ahead of ourselves, right? That's how we become the greatest, by putting others ahead of ourselves and realizing it's not a big deal who's first in line. As I say to you guys all the time, you're all going to the same place, right? It doesn't matter who's, who's first. So let's reflect on that today. Let us stand in prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance 
to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day today, everyone.